Hey guys, I want to talk today about contradictive behavior in humans. And I really want to explain what I mean by contradictive behavior. Let's say you have a vision, you have found your why, you have a goal and you know where you're going, but you allow the, the nagging voice to come back during the day or anytime you want to achieve something and it tells you not to do it. And it gives you the sabotage reason why not. You're not worthy, you're not going to succeed, you don't have enough money, it's a huge risk, nobody's going to believe you, you don't have enough knowledge, etc, etc. So when that happens, and I have seen that human behavior at least three times the last week, that's why I'm raising the topic now. Because what I said, and I will repeat myself now, but I had to re record this video because it's important to understand that you're always going to have the two voices in your head. One will be the doubt voice, the sabotage one, and the other one will be the driven voice that chases your passions and visions. So, more authority you give to the voice with the sabotage, more you're going to drift away from where you're going. And it's less likely you're going to achieve what you want to achieve. So, it's a choice. Do you want to chase where you're going and be an achiever and nothing to stop you? If you do... Do not confuse your brain because what I'm seeing happens to many human beings. It used to happen to me as well, but I broke the habit and I believe anyone can break it. So if you're sitting and you're saying, I am stopping to smoke, that's it. And then straight after that sentence, you say, oh, maybe I'll do it next month. It's too hard now. So what you do, I stop you there and I say, okay. Your brain sits in the middle. You feed one thought of, I'm stopping to smoke. And the other thought straight away is, ah, it's really hard. So basically what you give to the brain is, I can, I can't. I can, I can't. So the brain sits in the middle and says, okay, she's not going to do anything. We're going to repeat the old copy and paste behaviors and patterns in her life. So we're going to stay in comfort. So you're not challenged to move ahead or do anything. And you're going to repeat this for quite some time unless you say I'm going to stop smoking and I am taking an action now tomorrow I am going to smoke less cigarettes and I can do it I can do anything I want to do it's easy to quit smoking so once you start talking to yourself like this you program your brain to start eliminating the sabotage voice and that sabotage voice might be equal at the beginning with the normal voice but it's going to go. And I can assure you, for some it's going to take months, for others going to take a week or two maybe. But you need to be consistent and you need to recognize that you have two voices in your head and that one is not real and it's always going to try to sabotage you and take you away from your dreams and your passions and your visions. But if you know that you can do anything and you repeat it and you act like you can and you believe in yourself then it's a choice where you're gonna go. So that's why I'm posting that video because I've seen a lot of people drifting from one to another one and they say, I really know where I'm going and I know what I'm doing and I am going to achieve that. And then straight after that sentence, they go, um, maybe not straight away. I'll see, maybe it's gonna take six months because uh, I'm not sure if I can really do it and I don't know where to start. When you start talking like this to yourself, I can tell you straight away, you're not going to start, you're not going to do anything. But if you say, I'm going to do that, I'm really passionate about it, I want it, and you go, you know what, I will take a small step, I'll write an email, or I'll make a phone call tomorrow morning, or even now. Which means you're opening a door and you're allowing something to arrive in your life, which means you're getting closer to your vision. So contradictive human behavior and sabotaging talk can you distinguish which one is the voice that is not your real voice but it became real and it became part of you only because you gave authority to that voice so hope that helps guys the choice is in you whether you're gonna say no enough thank you very much i don't want to listen to you anymore i am in control i've got power and i'm in my positive state it's up to you have a great day